All right, welcome everybody to the Three Way Podcast Show. I am your host with the most Los. And with me today, I got JD McKinney. What's up? And JP, aka Linkster101. Hey, we're doing something never done before. We're doing an episode without jerks. <laughs> Finally, <Yeah>. thank, yes. <laughs> work hard, work hard. Work hard, work hard. Uh, I'm, you know, the Three Way Podcast Show comes to you every week, Monday, straight to your earbuds, straight to your eyes. We cover sports, pop, and gaming. You get it all in one, baby. So please uh, remember to follow, like, support, share, let your friends know, tell us what you think in the comments. But uh, we got a bunch of news this week, uh, and so we're gonna start off with gaming. Finish <laughs> him. <laughs> Uh, so this week, this past week, we had the another uh, PlayStation State of Play. Now, it was focused on the PS4 and PSVR, and we did get little snippets of PS5. Um, but I want to start off with some of the games we saw in there, the big ones. Uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. They showed... A bunch they of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Uh, they show they sh- yeah trailer gameplay. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you guys hyped about this? Uh, I, it, it looks. I feel like it's been too long. They should have done this a long, long time ago. Maybe they would have had more sales. They, graphically, they they went back old school. I think from like the the old versions. It looks just like an older, you know. Video game that should have just been out a long time ago. I think it looks opinion. good. I think they're yeah they're taking the same art style, but they're bringing it uh, kind of to mo- to the modern day. JD, did you catch any of this? I haven't had a chance to catch it. I was you know just with the new job and it's kind of keeping me keeping me busy, um, working a little bit later, so I was kind of exhausted when I got done being on the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean if, yeah, it, I'm looking at a little bit of the stuff right now. It is it does look like uh, Crash Bandicoot could, could be kind of I mean, as long as they they keep it towards. I mean I never really played the whole series. So hopefully it's mm-hmm. going to be, you know, I, I played a little bit here and there. And I always enjoyed when I did play it. So hopefully we can keep up with that, that crazy little goofy stuff it's a, had going on. It's a, it's a difficult series. Like, uh, that series yeah. is hard. It, like it's not, it's not easy. It's, you gotta be exact with the platforming. Like it is not giving you any, 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 uh, easy gameplay, but it, it, I, I, I'm interested. The problem with me is okay. It's a new crash Bandicoot game. I understand there's a bunch of content in there for $60. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I'd agree with that. I, I definitely agree with that. I think this is, well, it's so long overdue. And honestly, I don't really think this is going to just be for PlayStation. I, I really, really believe with these graphics, uh, Switch is going to have this on their sleeve as well. Right behind yeah, uh, that just got leaked out. Actually, at the time, the day of this recording is people who, I don't know, somehow are hacking this shit. I don't know. But it's kind of come out that uh down the road it looks like there might be a switch version coming out and i'm not surprised i mean why wouldn't you put exactly uh, crash yeah. randicoot when i'm sure the the original trilogy they did put it out on switch i'm sure it sold a lot i mean i bought it so why not put the new one on the switch make more money um hitman 3 revealed that uh it's gonna have a psvr version of it and look i'm not a big hitman guy uh I, you know it, it just doesn't pique my interest. But when you tell me, okay, you could do all that Hitman stuff now in VR, mm-hmm. okay, now I'm interested. Because now I'm around murking people, assassination. <laughs> like, now, okay, now it interests me. Yeah. And so I wasn't interested in Hitman 3. Now they're saying that there's a VR version. Uh, okay, now I feel like... I- I'm gonna have to see what's up with this game. Yeah, I'm I, looking forward to I, that too. So, yeah, would you play this that that game, JD? Because um, I know I, you're a little bit more to VR. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, if it's only gonna be on the PlayStation, I probably won't be able to for a while. But you know, if it is on, if they end up putting it to where you can get it on Steam with the Oculus, yeah, I could definitely do it there. Put the VR yeah. in there, that would be kind of cool. So, I'm, yeah, I mean, Hitman's on PC. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I mean, I I'm not sure if this is exclusive to PSVR. I doubt it because they're just leaving a lot of money on the table. Right. If this does come to PC VR, like, uh, yeah, that I mean, those graphics and VR, like, bro, right. it looks pretty good from what I, what I was just looking at. So hopefully it'll. Uh, yeah, uh, a couple of other games good. they did uh, re- show more on Bug Snacks. So this. <laughs> I don't care about Bus Snacks, but people, like, I don't know, somehow it became viral. Um, 
they showed some more gameplay on that for the PS5. They showed Star Wars Vader Immortal, which is a VR game. It's out on PC already, but now it's coming to PSVR. That I'm interested in. Like, I could be Darth Vader yeah. in VR. Like, come on, bro. That's like a little. That's like me, my little me as a child's dream come true, bro. Yeah, Star so, Wars automatically for me. Star Wars, just oh, let's go. You know, I don't care. exactly. You know. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> VR lightsaber, like okay. Yeah, right? uh, I could kill, you know, Jedi. Like I'm in. Uh, know, a good marketing that they could do with this is to create an actual like a VR a, a lightsaber handle that would work with the VR goggles or with the, with the, yeah. That would be it a would great marketing well. talent for this. You know, bro, I need to clean myself because. Um, <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, that would, that Bro, would be awesome. That would be know. amazing. Like a bundle in mm -hmm. VR lightsaber controller. Yeah. Bro, yeah, that would be awesome. I'm fucking in. And it, it just for the hell of it, it still lights up just mm -hmm. so you can mess with right. it. Off of, bro. Okay. <laughs> Million dollar idea. They need to talk to you because, uh, right? yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, control, which uh, a couple of years back was a game of the year for a lot of people. 2019, I believe, for, for a lot of people. Um, I said a couple years back, 2019. It already seems like it's been so many years in quarantine. But anyways, um, well, uh, just, and just to mention, just to mention, Crash Bandicoot 4 does come out October 2nd. So, does it? Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, no, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, it's soon. It's soon. And um, again, the VR for Darth Vader is already out for on, on PC. Correct, correct. Uh, but yeah, Control, uh, game of the year for a lot of people uh, in 2019. I haven't played it. Uh, I that is one of the games on my damn list. Uh, but uh, new DLC, uh, they announced that coming out later this year. Uh, so yeah, all those people hyped for, for control. Um, t okay. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember us speaking about, but there's this like game on PC called Temtem, which has been trying I to recall, take the po like Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Pokemon yeah, formula, right, yeah. but it's like M what we all wanted were mm -hmm. open world. You can play with your friends online. Like it's like the Pokemon everybody really want. Well, wanted but Tentum tried it it's not a really a perfect game but it's out there it's finally coming to console it looks like it'll be coming in 2021 i might get this just to see like okay like it looks like playstation is trying to find their own pokemon and try to battle nintendo with it i'm with it because if that forces nintendo and and game freak to like up their up their, up their game, game. Yeah. yeah then i'm all i'm all for that so uh, we'll see. Uh, and last but not least, they finally showed some gameplay on Godfall. Um, Which I thought was very interesting because I've been interested in this game. It looks interesting. It it, it, it looks better than what they previously showed. Um, I'm, I'm yeah, looking I'm forward to it. I probably would get it. They, they announced it this past December. They showed a trailer in the PlayStation uh, 5 event. And I was just not in on this game. I thought, uh, I mean, they haven't showed a shit. I'm not interested. The trailer is trash. Uh, but from the gameplay they showed, I actually was like, okay, this looks pretty solid. This looks like I might not get it because it's not my type of game. Um, but, yeah. you know, it. I, I could see for a, if it's your type of game, I would for sure be interested in it. And it looks better. It looks good. I imagine it's only going to look better by the time um, the PS5 comes out. So, yeah, I was actually pretty interested. Yeah, I mean, well, the graphics look pretty good for it, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I also saw another game that I I think I'm interested in. It's called uh, <laughs> Hood Outlaws and Legends. I think that one's going to be good. Um, it, it was on the state of play as well. It's coming out 2021 for the PS5. It's coming out for PS4, too, but... I'm pretty sure gonna be people are gonna play with PS5. So yeah, it looked like a co-op game. Uh, yeah. it looked it looked pretty solid. Uh, the another one out uh, that came out, oh Braid, they're doing like a re a remix or remix, a re yeah, remaster of Braid, yeah, yeah, like yeah remaster, yeah. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of stuff. I thought it was a pretty solid uh, event overall. I mean, yeah, you're demonstrating what's coming out in the next, you know, for the rest of the year, some 2021 stuff for people that still have the PS4. Yeah. Uh, playing it next year. Uh, there's still going to be stuff coming out. So, and then they showed us a bit of PS5 stuff. So I was pretty satisfied with the event. I thought it was pretty solid. Um, uh, control, DLC. Well, I mean, PlayStation doesn't have to do much. They're winning right now. So they're just like, well, it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I liked it. Um, uh, you know, 
uh, a lot of stuff in there that I was interested. Hitman on, on VR, Darth Vader on VR. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm hyped. So, yeah, I'm in. Uh, I liked it. What do you... JD, what do you think? Yeah, with VR, you got to be real careful though because it's, it is a little bit more expensive. So a lot of people have, probably haven't delved into that area yet. Yeah. So yeah, having a game that can sit in both VR and in in regular controls is going to be better your better option. But um, gotcha. yeah, um, I, a lot of they did have looked like have some pretty good games, you know. And if I have a chance to get a, get a uh, uh, PS5 when they come out, I think I probably will, and then see where I can play some of these games on it. That'll be kind of fun. But, so you're leaning to PS5. No, no, no. Xbox? I'm definitely getting the Xbox first, but if I can afford it, I'll get the PS5 as well. But, bet, um, bet, bet. you know. Cool. Um, all right. Next thing in gaming, uh, a new game has come out and that is taking over the world. Uh, Fall Guys from uh, D- Digital uh, Devolver uh, has come out. It's free on P- PlayStation Plus. It's uh, like 15 bucks on uh, PC. But I-, I see in this game everywhere on Twitch. It took over Twitch. It was the number one stream game on Twitch. It's taking over Twitter. I'm seeing the clips from people all over the world, Japanese people playing this. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, super hype. What do y'all guys think about this game? Have y'all tried it? Have y'all looked at I it? Mean, Have y'all seen it? It reminds me of Mario Party a little bit. Um, yeah, it's just like a whole bunch of mazes, and you're just trying. Yeah, to- it's like a uh, battle royale, except it's it's in levels. In- yeah. Except instead. A, a battle royale putting you in a big space and you killing each other. This kind of battle royale is like, okay, there's 50 people, round one. If you can't do the obstacle course, then half of the people are eliminated. Then the next round, it's a team base. So whichever team loses, they're eliminated. And then the last round, it's all for one, and whoever wins takes the crown, and that's that. So it's a their own take on battle royale, but I really like it. I've had a lot of fun with it. JD, what do you so, think? I mean, from what I'm looking at and from what you're talking about, it sounds like it's Ninja Warrior meets Mario Party is what it sounds like, you know? Yeah. That's a pretty round, good comparison, round, yeah. You know? So, but yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks like it could be fun. It looks like it could be fun. I haven't actually seen anybody play it. I haven't played it myself. But it, it does look entertaining. And, you know, I mean, it, it's, you know, if you make, doing the mix between single single person and player and then, and, and, I mean, as far as, you know, Battle Royale, single person, and then team base and then single person again, it's kind of makes a different a little bit more of a different dynamic for the game so hopefully it'll be interesting yeah no that that uh comparison you made is like on the spot yes yeah. it's like ninja warrior but mario party like yeah. i love that oh uh, but yeah it's like what i like about it is super accessible like i my, my try hard ass can play it right. have fun and then my wife can play it who rarely plays any games but she could catch on it really quick it's easy to get it's easy to play it's fast like if you lose okay I'll try again like it's really fun. Uh, I would recommend it if you if you have PlayStation Plus, just download it. It's free. Um, if you have PC, I would spend the fifteen dollars to get it. Like I, I, I highly recommend this game. It's fun. It's easy. It's addictive because you're like, okay, one more time, one more time. Like let me get in there one more time. Like <laughs> it's really cool. It's really yeah. fun. Uh, actually, uh, <laughs> if you guys ever when this is over and y'all come over, like we need to get on this shit. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, next thing in gaming. So, uh, Xbox's streaming service, xCloud, is not coming to Apple. Uh, Apple is stating in a report that, well, every app has to go through procedures just like everyone else. Xbox is saying, well, when it comes to streaming services that deal with games, they're specifically strict on us when on other apps they're not. So therefore, the Xbox X Cloud app is not coming to Apple. What do I, you guys think about this? Not good with promise. I mean, I'm not surprised. Um, it, you have to understand, this is business. This is business, mm. and Xbox is gonna have to pay a big amount. And the thing is, Xbox, for all the good things they have for being a little too friendly and a little too willing to to share, some companies don't. Some companies yeah. don't, yeah. and yeah. It's, that's what it comes down to. And it it's just pure business, and that's what Xbox because Xbox wants to play fair with everybody, but doesn't understand in the real world no one really plays fair. So, I mean, to me, I'm not surprised. The, the thing is, this is just another reason why Xbox is losing to me. All these promises just falling through. I don't know who the fuck is in charge over there, but they're fucking up bad. 
Well, are you well get, and on that thing, if, no, you know, no, if it's, if it's, ahead, if it's iOS is, is the one saying they can't do it, there's not a whole lot yeah. they can do with that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're not, they're just saying, no, you can't, you're not going to be allowed to do our service, and what, what more they can, I mean, they can try and fight it, but that's, that's the best they can do. And it's just funny, because like, like I was talking about before, yeah, I've been seeing all the iOS uh, advertisements for through some of my app games for being able to play your Xbox on an Apple iOS. I don't know if it's from Xbox or from Apple, but, you know, it's been advertised quite a well, quite a bit in the past week and a half at least. And now all of a sudden it's, oh, we're not going to do it. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm pissed, man. Uh, Apple's over there trying to push their gaming shit. I don't even, our Apple Arcade, whatever. No one plays it. No one buys it. Yeah. Uh, so now they're pissed, uh, fucking bitter that now better services are coming to their phones and they don't want to play ball. Um, I'm pissed. I'm even considering like switching over to Android because yeah, me too. I want to be able to play my 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 like. Come on, come to with the dark side. We have cookies. Having the ability, all it's those just having games. the ability. Yeah, just having the ability. For ex- last night, bro, I was in an online game. I didn't want to like. I had to go use the restroom. I didn't want to like. <laughs> like, if I'm idle, I'll get kicked. So what I did is I got on the PlayStation app on my phone, mm-hmm. and I could like play i could stream it to my phone and i was just making sure i didn't go idle in the restroom from there and that's yeah. it bro i just want to be able to do that with the x cloud bro like why are you why are no, they doing and, this? And, and i think i think right now with apple seeing how apple is and they try and promote this and try and promote that i think this is the first time i honestly because i used to have Android and i like android um i'm literally considering going back to a google phone um i, I feel like their apps are a lot better I feel like their system's a lot better. You can do things for free a lot more than you can on an Apple uh, phone. So this is just to me, if Xbox decides, hey, we're going to go with this provider, I probably will switch to that provider. Yeah. Yeah. So the drama continues between Apple and Xbox. Yeah. (laughs) So uh, next, last thing. uh, So the developers of the Arkham series have finally revealed Rocksteady, right? Rocksteady, Rocksteady. have finally mm-hmm. revealed who, uh, what have they been working on. And sure enough, the rumors were correct. It's a Suicide Squad game that Rocksteady is working on. Now, we didn't get any trailer. We didn't get any any gameplay. It's simply an image yeah. of what looks like Superman with a Suicide Squad shit on his face. Um, what do you guys think? Honestly... The movie left such a bad taste in my mouth. I'm no, but this is it. completely different, man. This I, is like I, I like Rock this is, They did they did such a great job with Batman Arkham, the series. Yeah, I really yeah, do. Yeah. I really do think they're in some good hands. Do I really want to play as as Deadshot? Do I really want to play as Harley Quinn? Nah, I really don't. I'm a well, what, guy. Well, what the a lot of questions that people have been asking themselves is what De- Suicide Squad is this? Because there's different iterations. Yeah. You know, it's been going on no, for many years. Yeah. So what de- What Suicide Squad, what does the team consist of? Some people are thinking this is like some, so the Superman didn't look like a good Superman. It looked like a evil Superman. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't read the comics, but that's like some of the crap I've been hearing online. Yeah, yeah. It, it looks like he has like glowing eyes. I, I don't know. I, yeah, so is that the direction they're going with? Like DC... <laughs> Heroes gone bad. I don't know. Because, uh, well, like I said, there's like different iterations of of uh, the Suicide Squad, so it might not be the movie guys we saw, and I doubt it is. I'm pretty yeah. sure they're trying to stray as far as they can from the movie. Uh, that movie so, did yeah. pretty good, though. I thought. I mean, I thought it had a really good uh, fan following and, and, and did really good in theaters. But it's, I thought know. the movie was solid. Yeah. I just don't agree with the villain. Like, what is with this witch? And who no. cares? Like. That's exactly. my that's my thing against like of all the villains and all the people everybody characters like, you can choose from. Every, every, everybody thought it was gonna have to do something with Joker and like nothing of Joker. Like, oh, it was just so bad. Yeah, no, yeah. The, and all the Joker footage that Jay Leto says they had, they like he <laughs> says they cut like a crap load of, uh, of it out of the movie. He's like, what the hell? That shit was good. All right, all right. So I don't know. Back to the game. Back uh, to the game. <laughs> yeah, but. I mean- uh, but yeah, so we'll see. I'm excited for it. Obviously, I think this is a next gen game. That's probably why we didn't see anything because I feel like, oh shit, they're like, well, this game's taking longer than we thought. Let's just move it to next gen. 
Um, well, there's another point that was made in, in the uh, article I read here. Let me, let me put up here. Is, um, yeah. So the larger question is whether or not the new game will break significantly from Rockstar's earlier formula. I'm sorry, this is from uh, Engadget.com. Uh, the Arkham games are known for their mix of puzzle solving and unique brawling system that made Batman shine. Two squads. Now, Elias is here in in in, in spirit. Okay, um, <laughs> Suicide Squad by its nature is a based on a team that isn't interested <laughs> in detective work. It could be an evolution of Arkham design, or it could be represent a major shift in design. So that could be interesting too to see how they do that. Because like I said, you know, like I said, you know, these guys became famous mostly off of the of the Batman games with the detective stuff. But now you're going to have a whole different squad who's not really known for doing detective work. They're more for smash and grab and, mm. and you know causing a mayhem. So it's mm -hmm. interesting yeah. to see how this comes out as, as far as that part goes too. We'll see. We'll see. Because uh, a lot of times these video games are way better than the movies themselves. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited to see. But like before, it was rare. The movie was always better than the game. The game was just a cash grab. Right. Now the tables have turned. Now you a lot of times you see these uh, the game. video games are way better than the movies. Uh, not all the time, but a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of the time. So I'm excited to see. I feel like they're gonna put their love into this game. Uh, unlike the movie, and uh, yeah, I think we're gonna get a pretty. I mean, Rocksteady is proven. I mean, they were trusted with the Batman series, and they delivered. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited to see what what uh, what happens. Okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, next thing we're gonna move on is to sports. Sports. <sighs> Touchdown! It's a, it's a home run. run. Go! And look at all the fake fake fans. Okay. Face sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. So the NBA. Is rocking and rolling. Uh, rocking and rolling. And we we are already getting. You know, we're we're close. We're close to the very end of this. Uh, uh, by Wednesday. Of this, of this by Wednesday. Wednesday. So a couple of days good. from this episode, you'll be seeing the very end. We'll we'll have playoff positions decided. Uh, so what what do you what do you guys think? What is the big surprise for y'all so far? Well, I mean, the Los Angeles Lakers have won. They're pretty much putting it in gear for the West. They won the first seed. Um, the L.A. Clippers are one game above the Denver Nuggets on the seeding chart. So it's very What's important that the on? L.A. Clippers get their act together. They have not been playing as well. They did have a big win against the Trailblazers uh, a couple of nights ago. But uh, that right there is very, very tricky. If the Clippers do not get their act together, they will lose that second seed to the Denver Nuggets. And Denver Nuggets just got one of their main star players back. Um, and so that's going to uh, help them out a lot. Now, right behind that in the seedings, you have, of course, the Houston Rockets, OKC, and Utah Jazz, all vying for the fourth, fifth, and sixth. I think Houston Rockets play the Sacramento Kings today as we speak, because I'm pretty sure they're going to tie that up on the fourth seed. And then you have the Dallas Mavericks on seven trying to get into that fourth, fifth, and sixth. But the big surprise has been the eighth seed. Memphis uh, has just lost uh, to Toronto as we speak. It's over. Uh, and now they're pretty much 18th up for grabs. So whoever's 8th and ninth, they're fighting for whoever wants to be in the playoffs. But the funny thing is, their one game behind on the 10th place is the Phoenix Suns, as predicted by me in uh, uh, in the last Hump Day show. I didn't mention that the Phoenix Suns would be in the mixing of the playoffs. I honestly believe that the Phoenix Suns, if they win every single game in the bubble, they will make the 8th seed. Um, Portland Trailblazers, they are playing right now against the Philadelphia 76ers. They need this win. If they do not win, Phoenix will get this. Uh, because the next game that, that Phoenix has is against Memphis. So that's pretty much a tie of that AC. So I'm going for whoever. I really think Trailblazers are going to make a, 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 a message in, in, in playoffs. And I think more than likely they're going to get it. But I'm rooting for the Phoenix Suns just because they haven't made it since like – a long, like 1996, I think, 97. So uh, it's been a while. It, yeah. I mean, they, they were no, making no, it with Phoenix Nash. Yeah, yeah. That. So 2000, uh, 2000, I exaggerate. 2000, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say 2006, seven. Yeah, yeah, it's been a while. Now, it's speaking while. of the Portland Trailblazers, Damian Lillard uh, on social media uh, just, got into a little, a little scuffle, talking talk yeah. a little mess. Talking a little mess. So basically, so it was a, a Trailblazers versus Clippers, and it's a tight game. They're going back and forth, and the Clippers make a three, and so the Trailblazers are, are down by two. So um, it's like 24 seconds left to go. Uh, Damian Leonard cuts through, and he gets fouled. So he's at the line to make two. 
to go. I think it's to go. Ahead. Matter of fact, I'm lying. It's to go ahead by one. And he misses both free throws. So while he's missing both free throws, Patrick Beverly is like laughing his ass off. Uh, and so is uh, uh, what's that guy? Paul George. The, no, no, it's not Paul George. It's the other guy, the the twin. You know the the, the guys that beat up that guy for taking their mom to Applebee's. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, uh, come on, man. You you know who I'm talking about, man. Uh, basically, so basically it was it was um, uh, Patrick Beverly making fun of him, and then you know George, I guess Paul George waved goodbye to the Blazers after that shit happened. So you know they asked David Lynn like, "What the hell is going on?" And David Lynn's like, "Man, um, he, um, you know PG did the wave because he was also surprised and I missed free throws, but he he experienced being waved last year. He was like, and I quote, asking me about Patrick Beverly, who I sent home before at the end of a game." Paul George is a guy sent me sent home by me last year in the playoffs. So they know the reason they're reacting like that is because of what they expect from me, which is a sign of respect. And it just shows what I've done at a high clip more times than not. I'm not offended by it. If anything, it should just tell you how much it hurt them to go through what I put them through in those situations previously. So, you know, as everyone recalls, uh, Damian Lillard's senior did shoot that three uh, over that dumbass uh, that went to the Memphis, uh, uh, Chandler Parsons. And Patrick Beverly was on the Rockets team that year. And, uh, of course, OKC with Paul George. So they're going back and forth. And then Patrick Beverly posts Cancun on three, like on TNT, whenever they make fun of, of a team that just let, lets it go, like Cancun on three. And then Paul George is like, and you're also getting home this year with a crying, laughing emoji. And then uh, Litter replied to George by pointing out how the Clippers forward requested trades from Indiana and Oklahoma City to play with Westbrook and Kawhi Leonard. He's like, keep switching teams, yeah. running from the grind. You <laughs> boys is chumps. So it's getting like, it's getting heck up. He did. Here. He basically told him like, man, y'all over here yeah. switching teams, trying to find a, a squad. Like, yeah. Look, it, it, at the end of the day, you know, um, uh, Leonard does talk a lot of trash. Um, and I honestly think that if they get to the playoffs, they will make some noise. I don't think they'll win the championship, like uh, Charles. Nah, Rodgers. I don't think so either. But right. bro, I, I really don't have want, say. I really want Damian Lillard in because yeah, he said he said he shuts people up when it comes to the playoffs. He talks all that mess, but he backs it up, bro. That's why I like Damian Lillard. I feel I would love Damian Lillard to go up against the Clippers, bro. Like I, I would, I would love, I would pay money to Keep see this, bro. That might not happen because the very first, I mean, unless the second round. The, the way the standings are now, let's say that uh, yes. they do yes. get it to would, that. it would not be – it would not it would be not immediate. Be, I know that. Yeah. I know that. It, it, it'll be I, the Lakers. Portland but would I, have to win, and yeah. yes, I, I I know, but damn, I want to see that. But yeah, make it happen. NBA, yeah. do what, pay whatever refs you have to pay. Just make it happen, bro. Hey, look, I, I, and the reason, guys, we don't talk about the East is because there's really no point. The, the East, East is, is pretty much <laughs> The East is pretty much set. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just seating going up and down. So, <laughs> I, I mean, the real story is in the West. Uh, uh, so, we'll keep it as is with that. But I'm looking forward to it. Every game has been a playoff game. The environment hasn't been that bad. Players are going at it. Um, you can hear a lot of trash talk on the court. You can hear Melo with a little bullshit. I got it. All the fucking <clears> time. <throat> knowing that motherfucker. Um, but uh, this, this is going to be fun, man. I really believe it's going to be fun. Thank yeah. God the NBA is bad. It's super annoying with all the shit that they have to show at the very, like, if the promotions are trash, the the, the beginning stages of, of the game are trash, but the actual game itself is good to see. Um, yeah, so, um, JD, anything you want to add there? Um, I do want to say that, uh, I, mean, I don't know a whole lot about what the exact game is going on, but I think this is actually a good um, model for working inside of this pandemic because I think mm-hmm. they've, they've done, I think they've kept the corona, corona cases down really well in these games. Uh, they really have. And I think it's a good model to show that, okay, you know, because I mean, I, I think in the beginning of the, about mid- midway, we were talking about baseball doing, a, you know, a two stadium setup. And I was kind of, I was kind of thinking, oh, maybe that wouldn't really work, but I think maybe that might work out best, not just two stadiums, but maybe four different stadiums for, for, for different regions. No, you know, and get, then, get, yeah, give credit where credit's due, JD, yeah, like JD said. They did a really good job. I, I don't like a lot of things that NBA does, but when it comes to their players and handling their business, um, even though they, they love China, but handling their business, um, they they do a very good job and they're very effective at it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, hands down, Adam Silva. Work hard. Best, 
Best commission of sports work okay. hard. Um, the NFL is right around the corner. We're we're in August 9th. Preseason, there is no preseason. So yeah. August, starting September is a game, and, and right now they have about 20 players that have opted out. Um, <clears throat> you know, we'll see how it goes moving forward from there. I don't know what the plan is from the NFL. I really feel like they might as well just make it the same thing as the uh, – as the NBA, just make it one stadium and all the teams yeah. go back. At least for the NFL, what they need to do is test the players and put them in quarantine as soon as they test them. If you test positive, okay, we're going to put you, we can't let you play that, you know, like a couple days before a game. If you test positive, okay, we can't let you play that game. You need to go home and quarantine. But if you don't, if you test negative, okay, you're going to stay here until we play oh, the game. Oh, they have to quarantine for two weeks, so it's not yeah, like one that's game. What I'm that's what I'm saying. You know, if you, if you, do, you test positive, bam, you go. Yeah, you go, so as a know, player, so. you're like, hell no, I need yeah. to keep myself on check because. Exactly. I don't want to miss two weeks, mess up my team, then get others infected. Like, you could destroy your team, like, essentially. Right. Uh, yeah. Especially if you're a quarterback. Ooh, yeah. oh, if you're yeah. a quarterback, Lord Jesus have mercy. Uh, so. But, yeah, uh, so that's it for sports. Uh, next up is pop. 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 Whoa. Almost together. Uh, <laughs> everything's worked so much better in conjunction when Jerks isn't here. Um, <laughs> so, pop culture, uh, we got a, a – a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, number one uh, on the list is Dr. Disrespect comes yes. back and streams on YouTube. Uh, so, everybody's been talking about this. He yeah. hit crazy views on YouTube. As always. As uh, not even streaming, he was hitting crazy every, views. And he called out people. He called out everybody. And the he time called out was- Shroud, talking all that smackety smack. Look. Dr. Disrespect coming back, I, I honestly, like I said, guys, I don't normally watch streamers. I really don't see the point of watching other people play where I can play better than them. I just don't see it. But when it comes to Dr. Disrespect, he plays games that I normally, I'm not good. Momentum, and speed, he's, violence. Violence, uh, like he, and he's hilarious. And he came back, and I love the fact that he was like, look, I'm going to leave it to the professional. I don't know what the hell happened. I don't mm-hmm. know why we were banned. I still don't mm-hmm. know. So everyone who's talking all this shit, you don't know either. If right. I don't know, what makes you think you know? And then he was like, and I'm just going to leave it to the hands of professionals. It was a lot of money involved. There's still a lot of money at play. And the lawyers are going to handle that. I honestly like that. And he went in. And he went in. He went Dr. Disrespect character. And he played some games. And he was like, look, you guys, I've been gone for one month and a half. And you guys are playing this stupid-ass game. <laughs> That game that Los was talking about. Guys, yeah. He's like, this is the shit you guys were playing? No. Let's, let's take that back. <laughs> so I really did enjoy a lot of that. He Dr. did. He was looking at it. He's like, I'm gone for one month and this happens? Like, damn. Uh, no, for those, of, uh, for, for those of you who don't know, Dr. Disrespect is the biggest streamer in the world. Uh, he was originally streaming for, for Twitch. And for some reason, they banned him. And he's been kind of dark this whole time. Uh, we, no one knows, I mean, other than his people don't know why, uh, they banned him. Even he stated Twitch, he doesn't know why Twitch banned him. Like he's saying that he doesn't know. And they're in the midst of figuring that out. The guy had a multi-million dollar contract with them yeah. for some reason for them to, va- uh, just void that. It, no one knows is a huge mystery. So now he did his first stream in YouTube. I think it got like 500,000 views. He, he had like what three hundred thousand before he even actually really started streaming. He had just turned it on, and like three hundred thousand people were up there. It's like holy crap! So the guy's huge. He has merch coming out. I'm even thinking with my birthday money, I'm gonna get some of it. <laughs> like y'all gonna see me with uh, Doctor Disrespect T-shirt. Uh, but hey, yeah, he has, some, he has some really nice. He has some really nice merchandise. I ain't even got. That's what I'm saying. The yeah. violence, speed, momentum. That's a that's a sweater of his. I'm gonna get that shit. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, like, uh, it just, I, I love the guy. I'm glad he's back. I hope he gets a huge contract with, with YouTube or whatever. I hope he still gets his money from uh, Twitch. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just glad he's back. Uh, JD, you got anything to, to add? No, I mean, I, said, I, I mean, again, I haven't, I haven't really, I don't really watch his stream. It's not my kind Bro, of streamer. Bro, watch Dr. Well, I, mean, he, he, I have, I've seen him. I just, he's just not my kind of streamer, you know? No, I realize that, I, again, I realize that this, that's a character. I have no problem with him playing a character like that. That's great. You know, I, I mean, you look at, look at Boy, you don't like what he said? You don't like what he said? You don't like the two-time? Well, I mean, look, like the two-time. Look at Hollywood. I mean, look at some of the guys that play the best villains are typically some of the nicest guys out there. So, I mean, I'm definitely not saying anything personally against the guy himself. You know, I just it's just not my type of streamer. 
gotcha, gotcha. You know, but I mean, it's good to see he's able to make a comeback from this. He's able to do what he loves to do, and still be able to make and still get some uh, get some following. His following is follow him over there, you know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hey, find no, out soon I, I, I will. You know? I'll follow him to the yeah. end of the world. No. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> so, hopefully, we'll find out soon what happened, and we can figure out what the hell was going on, and we can get some more clarification on this issue because, yes. you know, for for again, for Twitch to just say, hey, you're banned. And not give a reason. And there's, somebody's got to know a reason. I, I, I mean, his legal team does, and they just, they're not allowed to say anything. But during the litigation, who knows? But I mean, hopefully, we'll find out soon what, what happened. The, we can get the, it all figured out. The thing with me and his merch, uh, which I'm literally looking at right now, is, <clears throat> um, which I can't do this. I can't wear another man like face, like <laughs> <laughs> like like. No, that. but the alley the alleyway one is him just his uh, him turned around. Yeah, yeah. but. There's one that I like where it has violent speed momentum, and in the back of it, it has him. Like, oh, really? Oh, I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, and, and I, I don't. Care. Yeah, and he's like, he has like two guns, which I like, but I'm like, ah, oh, it has him on it. <laughs> it was like Wolverine, you know. I, I like that shit, but uh, uh, you know, shout out to Doctor Respect. You're always welcome on this show. All right, you can talk <laughs> shit all you want. You're fucking hilarious. If you even watch this stupid shit, whatever. Who knows? <laughs> we'll uh, Go ahead. But yeah. Next thing on pop, so the president of the United States, Donald Trump, has apparently done an ultimatum on TikTok that if TikTok does not get bought out by an American company. By September 15th. September 15th. Yeah. It will be banned in the U.S. Yeah. Basically, basically just their their American uh, investments have to be bought out by an American company. By September fifteenth, and uh, either because America made TikTok. Either, America made TikTok. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, you, you look at it. You know, it's it's kind of a competition between India and America. I think we could usually have some of the, the, the bigger ones, but no, yeah. not India. Well, not now anymore because India TikTok. banned them. Yeah, but and, and America made India too. Just let you know, <laughs> America made India too. <laughs> But yeah. uh, so either way, either they get bought out or they're gonna get banned. It's it's either way. So something. Like I'm a, I'm all for it, bad, man. So. I, I I like it. I'm like hell yeah. Screw TikTok taking too much information. It's owned by the damn the, the you know the Chinese government. Uh, but this is kind of Tencent owns a big part of TikTok, and Tencent is huge in the games industry because they own they have a a, a a slice of almost all these game uh, developers. Uh, so that's a real weird situation, uh, but I don't mind the whole TikTok thing. I'm not. I don't use TikTok. I don't care for it. Ban it for all I care. Uh, I think it's a good move. Uh, do I think it's actually gonna happen, man? I think. <laughs> I think everyone's gonna go crazy if on September 15th they click on the TikTok app and it's not working. I think. <laughs> I think the, they're all gonna go nuts, and I'm here for it. I can't wait. I'm here for um, TV. Me too. Hey, but Microsoft you know supposedly is in talks to, to, to get TikTok. I would say it's a good move for Microsoft. Like you're getting one right. of the most, if not the most popular uh, social media crap right now. So I, I think it's a good deal for Microsoft. But is it deal going to happen by then? I don't know. Well, I not don't only know. that, I mean, uh, as of today, Sunday, uh, Twitter and TikTok are holding preliminary talks as well. So you could see Twitter. Purchasing TikTok, right now, right now, Microsoft is still the front runner. But you know, hey, who knows? Uh, I'm down for Twitter getting there. I'm down for Twitter getting there. I like Twitter. Um, and last but certainly not not least, uh, we have gotten confirmation that John Wick four and five will be filmed back to back to back. So. It, you know, I feel like Keanu knows, like, hey, man, I, I can't wait so many years to be able to perform. Exactly. Yeah. Like, let's just, level. Let's, let's just, let's just knock out the two movies back to back while I'm in tip top shape. And then I could really let myself go and go and grow. And the reason why is because he has the Matrix right around the corner. Right. Matrix coming out, yeah. Right. So, so he has to knock this out quick. And it's a good Bro. play on this part because let me tell you guys something. Keanu Reeves since the eighties, legend, legend. Mm -hmm. With Bill and Ted, and then you have you know doing all these rom coms, and he did Speed, Speed, Point and Break. then he Matrix, in Matrix, and then he had like uh, uh, these movies with John Point Wick. Break, Point Break <laughs> being the nineties, uh, good movie. Point Break, good movie. Uh, yeah, Gary Busey, go. Gary Busey was good in there, and uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of good shit uh, that uh, I, I think he's done. 
Um, you know, I, 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 and then not only that, he, the, his impact on the gaming community with Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, what a car, man. Keanu Reeves being the legend that he is. I mean, he's breathtaking, uh, like a motherfucker. Yep. <laughs> and so, you know, let's, let's go ahead and give that dude a work. For sure, for sure, man. Work hard. Work hard. Hey, hey, what you think? With this whole pandemic thing, it kind of shows that you never know what's going to happen in the future. So getting these done back to back is also a smart move as well because, you know, you're going to have these editors can work with these stuff as they're, as they're moving along. It's, they can use a lot of the same stuff to do from one movie to another. So it makes it a little bit faster for them to get stuff processed and get it out if you already have that film in, in house and done and ready to go. So hopefully, like I said, hopefully we'll see a quick turnaround for both of them. You know, and instead of seeing a, seeing a two year two year, three year, four year turnaround, we can see, you know, like they did with the Hobbit movies. You see one coming out and then the next year you got this you got the next one. And hopefully we can see how the story's gonna end at that point. So Yeah, I'm all in for it. I I, I love it. I, I mean respect to Keanu bro. And everything Keanu does, I'm, I'm I got his back. Yeah. Uh so hey man, do your four and five back to back. I do hope though that the story and the action is a little better than three. Three kind of let me down. Well, you got to remember, I, in three, he was he was just coming off of having getting his ass handed almost handed to him in two, so he was going to be a little wore out in that one. So his yeah, yeah. As, as a as a I mean, it, it made sense for the character to be a lot less. But I do want less, something less, else. Less. I want something new. Like yeah. we're, we two and three were very similar in my opinion. Yeah. And I just want something new for four and five. I don't want. Uh, don't get me wrong. What one did is amazing but i just like oh, i want some ev some evolution in the series yeah, right because then it, it just starts to i start to get fatigued on it so i don't i do yeah, want some I evolution agree. maybe pass the torch on in five so keanu could say hey i mean i'm not the assassin no more i don't know but something new i want something new from the series because i'm already kind of getting fatigued on it so yeah. that, that's all For i sure. ask For i don't sure. know but Keanu, thank you so much. You're the best. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, um, before we end the show, I want to know if you guys got any final punches. Well, guys, it's almost fall. And we have so many things coming up this fall. Starting September, you have Marvel's Avengers. Then you have The Boys coming out on Amazon. Then right around the corner, you have Cyberpunk 2077. And then uh, you, you have Xbox coming out. You have PS5 coming oh out. Uh, you also have uh, Outriders coming out. Uh, you have all uh, Halo coming out. All these games. And now that we're in this pandemic, I think once we, we get this stuff, I think we're going to feel a lot different because we have actually shit to do. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little weird when you're playing all the games you beat them, but, or watch all the shows. But uh, guys, check out, you know, and The Witch is right on the corner. Cowboy Beal is right on the corner. So much good stuff. I can't wait to have these type of discussions on that. Yep. On that the Mand yeah. Mandalorian. <laughs> Mandalorian <laughs> coming out too. Yeah. yeah. So make sure, guys, make sure to subscribe because this is all stuff we're going to be covering uh, we're, as much as we can, as much as we're able. We're going to be putting as much content as we can on the on the channel. Uh, so please uh, subscribe and follow. JD, any final punch? Uh, basically just say, you know, if anybody's watching, remember, you know, if you're hitting us up before, let's see, when is the... Let me, just, let me check this out real quick. Hang on, sorry. Um, you're watching this before the 19th. Uh, make sure you hit us up with your questions that you want to know about us. Just, uh, you know, keep them nice, but, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're basically just ask us. We're, gonna do Q, we're trying to do a QA, and a so just, if you want to know something about us, send a question to the uh, Twitter page. Well, as always, please like and subscribe down below. You want to let Lewis have his low. punch out? One more thing, one Let's more thing. Uh, just my final punch. I went back to playing Resi uh, Red, Dead, Resi uh, Red Dead 2 online. Uh, guys, if you have Red Dead 2 and you kind of fell off, you, you stopped playing it a long time ago, the online sucked, I recommend going back because it's really good. I can't wait to actually play right after this. I'm hooked. I'm addicted. Someone help me. Send help. Uh, but yeah, go play this. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Uh, please remember to follow, uh, subscribe, like, uh, We're on Android, share. Spotify. We're on Twitter, uh, uh, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, yeah. Uh, and, and, and your mom. And your mama. <laughs> and your mom. And your, and your mom. mom. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see y'all again next week. Comment. Tell us what you think. Ask us your questions. We'll be answering them soon. Y'all have a good one. Peace.